What's going on you guys? How's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for tuning back into another video. In today's video, I'm going to be taking a look at the Tampa Bay Lightning alternate jersey that was actually leaked here. What's interesting about this jersey and this leak is a few months ago, like honestly a while ago, I made a video about some leaks of the Tampa Bay Lightning alternate jersey. And then the leaks that actually came out, which these leaks are an actual photo of the jersey, look nothing like what we thought it was going to look like. So it's very, very interesting. Before we dive in and take a look at this jersey, as always, if you guys are new to the channel, it would mean a lot if you guys subscribed, like the video if you enjoyed. Let's take a look at this. So actually one last thing before I throw it up on the screen here, I'll tell you guys about the leaks that were supposed to happen with this jersey. This jersey was originally supposed to be essentially what their reverse retro 2 jersey was, just black. So pretty much what the original was. I don't know what strayed them away from that jersey because I personally absolutely love that jersey. That reverse retro 1 that they came out with uh, was absolutely incredible. I think that was one of the most just most beautiful jerseys from the reverse retro set honestly from both reverse retro sets i think the tampa bay's first year was just phenomenal but unfortunately they decided to kind of go away from that and uh, do this jersey that you guys can see on the screen here uh, there's a couple things to break down and first of which i guess just honest opinions right off the bat this leak came out a few days ago like last week and my initial thoughts were what the heck is this like what am i looking at uh, a couple days went by I looked at it again and I was like, you know what? This isn't as bad as my original thought was. Then a couple days go by again and I kind of see something else about this that I'm not a fan of. So I'll, let's talk about all of this. So right off the bat, when I first saw this jersey, like I said, I was not a fan of it. I was like, what is this? Uh, I don't like the logo. Uh, I thought it was very boring. It still feels very empty. Um, I'm wondering what the torso looks like, if it's got the same three stripings that the sleeve does, or if it's just like one stripe down there, maybe just white along the bottom. I also thought they could have done better. I was like, Tampa Bay has just like an insane branding in my opinion, and they have so much potential to go the extra mile and come out with a super sweet alternate jersey. I know their black one that would they had, that black and gray gradient one, a lot of people didn't seem to love that. But I liked it because it was different. It involved a gradient or unique looking gradient. Uh, had silver logo, had silver font on it. I thought it was just a super sick jersey. Clearly, a lot of people don't think so because uh, a lot of people didn't like it. But it's one that I would like to add to my collection even today. I would send that out and get that customized ASAP. But talking about the jersey at hand here. So like I said, initially I was not a fan. Then I started to kind of come around to it and I was like, I like Tampa Bay in black. I like that they're coming out with a black alternate. The stripings are very simple, but I don't mind it to be honest. I actually don't hate the striping down here. I do think it's very clean. Again, it's very simple, but it's very clean. It does look really nice. I'm intrigued to see what the customization looks like. I'm optimistic for that. I think if it's blue numbers with a white stroke, it could look really nice on this jersey. It would match the logo, obviously match the striping. I think it would pop. I think it would suit this jersey just perfectly. Uh, I love the laces. A lot of people don't like the fake Adidas laces. I kind of like it. I like the inside of the collar too. It's got the years that they won the Stanley Cup. So that's really, really cool. I also love how it's colorized in the jersey that they wore when they won it. So you got the black jersey that they won and then the whites and then the blues, which I think is really cool. The fact that they have it color coded there with the dates also, and you even got a bolt going down in a slant. I think that's actually really sick. It's probably my favorite part about the jersey. It's such an insignificant thing but it's easily my favorite part. Then the logo, okay? Originally, I said I didn't like the logo. Days went by, I still don't like the logo. Some logos are just meant to be shoulder patches. Uh, in my opinion, this one is one of them. There's some shoulder patches out there that I think you can get away with making alternate uh, jerseys and making logos for, especially the shoulder patches that aren't a circle shoulder patch there's not a lot out there um i think the boston bruins is one that's kind of like a mushroom shape i think that could actually look pretty good on a jersey the vancouver canucks one obviously can it's been on a jersey before too the stick in a rink one that one's a rectangle uh, but most of these circle style shoulder patches this one the anaheim ducks um i'm blanking on some other ones i don't think this really works specifically because for a shoulder patch it's really nice it's got the hockey club in there tampa bay lightning it all looks good but for an actual logo you don't need hockey club thrown in there in my opinion i think that's a little bit weird 
Uh, and even without it, I still think it would look weird to be super empty down there. So it's not like you can use the logo without it. I also just think the Tampa Bay Lightning have a good line of logos. Like their current one isn't bad. Their past one is sweet. And even that Bolts text they have, a lot of people don't love it. But I think it could work on this jersey as well. I just see it as a huge missed opportunity. Then a few days later went by and I looked at this jersey and I just thought, this just solidifies even more at how the Tampa Bay Lightning and the Toronto Maple Leafs are the same team, essentially. Like, what is this? We, people already talked about them having the same home and away jerseys, which they essentially do. And now Tampa Bay's coming out with a boring black alternate, a black and blue alternate that looks, obviously it doesn't look like Toronto's because Toronto's is just black and blue, has no white. But I mean, still, they're coming out with black alternates with not a lot of striping. There's just not a lot that differentiates them. I would say that Toronto's is more unique. And uh, we can talk, that's a whole other story, is which one's better. That's a whole other topic, because I think both are kind of mid. But at the end of the day, I just think Tampa could have done something way cooler for their alternate jersey. And I'm a little bit disappointed. I was saving a spot in my jersey collection for this. I really wanted it. I should say I really wanted, not this. Not this that we're seeing here. I wanted what the rumors were going to be. That's what I actually wanted. This is just a bit of a disappointment. I have no intentions on getting this jersey. Um, I don't even know if this thing was on sale for like a hundred bucks, like half off, if I would even get this thing. This thing would have to be like complete blowout clearance, like on sale for $50, $50 or something, like 75% off. Then and maybe then would I snag this thing. I'm not paying full price for this jersey. That's just my opinion. And I'm not saying this to be mean to Tampa Bay and, and their jerseys because I love Tampa Bay. I, I like their jerseys. Their home and away is boring, but I like every other jersey in their collection, especially the stadium series. It's one of my top three probably in my collection. So I'm, I'm just disappointed. I think that's why. I think once we see it on the ice, maybe we see it in a uniform and see it some in some games. I might change my mind on it. I could see the one thing I don't change my mind on is this logo. I could see myself changing my mind on the jersey as a whole, but not the logo. So We'll see how it goes, but that's just my initial thoughts. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I know I was a little bit late to making this video, but like I've stated many times before, I'm not rushing to put out this content. I kind of like when I sit on things like this and talk and then talk about it like days later because my opinions change over time. If I made this video day one, it would be strictly negatives and not even talking about my thought process. But because I'm doing this like five days later or a week later after it was leaked, um, I have some days to kind of like change my mind and actually gather my thoughts on this. So I think it's a little bit better if I do it like this. But anyways, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you guys are new to the channel, let me know if you guys subscribed. Like the video if you enjoyed. I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace.